of you. <laughs> and I know you're feeling you're feeling pretty good. Like your your uterus is riding high and tight. <laughs> yeah, it's high and tight. Your ovaries are like plump as a mango in January. You're like shooting out eggs. <laughs> nice eggs, not like weird baby eggs. <laughs> I've got some news you can use. Okay, I've been to the other side, and I'm gonna tell you about it, but I'm gonna require that you not Google what I'm gonna tell you about, because you're gonna see things you can't unsee. <laughs> and virtually everything that I'm gonna say to you is mostly true. <laughs> I like him, I like him. I'm gonna take him with me everywhere. So ladies, did you know, I recently found this out, that your uterus can just drop right out of your vagina. You're like having a laugh at a cocktail party and then... You know what causes it? Having kids. So using your uterus for its intended purpose can cause it to secede from your body. Your Childbirth turns your uterus into Jeff Davis. Now I don't I don't know if it makes your uterus like racist because I, I mean, we don't talk much. We spend a lot of time together. We don't talk much. Um, but what I do know what I do know is that this is why grannies wear granny panties. All right, it's in case their uterus falls out. You need like a substantial undergarment to ensure that your womb is not left on the sidewalk there, all covered in like dirt and buzz, like an old cough drop from the bottom of your purse. <laughs> you have one in the bottom of your purse. Now, every woman has one. So now I don't know if it, if, if it, um, hang on, you're gonna pop it out. So I don't know if it if it like always drops like all the way out like a plop, or if it gets tangled in the fallopian tubes and it's just banging against your knees. So um, I went to Google because Google is my primary care provider. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the way that you prevent this is vagina exercises. Yeah, so now I've got to do the cardio and the planks and the burpees. And now my lady's got to be buff. And they just keep raising the bar. And they have, they have vaginal weights. Yeah. Don't Google it though. Don't Google it. There's a woman in like, she on like Instagram and she travels and she's like in Morocco and she has like a, a, a tray of like couscous hanging from you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making this up. <laughs> it's true. And I, can, I think like what happens when the CrossFit folks get a load of this? <laughs> Press 200 pounds, and I can do a 25 pound vaginal deadlift. <laughs> Fellas, heads up, cause you could find yourself in some sort of like Venus flytrap situation <laughs> if you're not careful. It's true, no, it's not true. Don't go like that. <laughs> So for the, for the less intrepid, they also have things called Kegel eggs. And Kegel is the German word for strong vagina. <laughs> In fact, you know, they had, they had like a motto before like Deutschland über alles, and they had to change it after the troubles. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's Einen Gott, mein Frieden Gott, which loosely translate to we're only as strong as our weakest vagina. <laughs> so they have these kegel eggs and they look like eggs and you just like, you pop it in and you squeeze it. It's like a Fitbit for your vagina. <laughs> so instead, so now instead of like, you know what, walk with me, I've got to get my steps in. It'll be like, you know what, come. Sit with me. 
gotta get the squeezes in. <laughs> and just keep talking. And try not to think about the fact that I'm contracting my vagina <laughs> as I'm looking into your eyes. <laughs> I'm actually doing one right now. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> it's catching, it's like a yawn. Right? You just do it. Men don't know. We have all these things that we're going on. So this is where we, this is where we are as a people. Okay? We've got the heat miser as our president. Our health care is so screwed up I had to wiki how an appendectomy. Right? And women are walking around with eggs in their vaginas. So that's USA. <laughs> so if that, if the, if the weights and the exercises don't work, um, you can't have it surgically repaired. Like, don't worry. Um, they take a, a little piece of like mesh fabric and they make like a little, like a hammock. Like a little hammock for your uterus. What is this, a sandals resort? <laughs> Where your uterus can take it easy. She carried your children. Now you carry her. <laughs> she's there. She's there with her oves, like on either side of her. Like the oves are always there. Right, man? She's got like her big hat, her book, vagina monologues. Tom Cruise is like, you know, fixing drinks. And of course, cocktail takes on a very like literal <laughs> meaning at this resort. Um, so I talked to my mother, my mother's 81, and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna believe this. And she goes, oh, yeah, like, this is common knowledge. Like, this is, like, how is this, this was not covered in health class. They were like, don't get pregnant, don't get herpes, you're good. And she said, uh, yeah, you get a hysterectomy and then your bladder falls out. <laughs> it's like human Jenga. <laughs> Do you know why, do you know why the like, middle Asian old women are so grouchy? She was like, she's an old bitch. You know why? Because she's fucking holding in her organs. <laughs> at all times. If I relax, if I relax for like a single minute, I'll be like a macabre pinata. <laughs> or like Hansel and Gretel, but just like a trail of, of organs. I mean, it'd be hard to get lost. But like, I swear, I'm afraid that I'm like one coughing fit away from like complete evisceration. It's hard. So yeah, we're grouchy. Try to keep it together. <laughs> so this is why, this is why, this is why I um, have trouble believing in God. I'm kind of an atheist. So I have trouble believing in God because this was not well thought out. <laughs> right? You put an opening at the bottom of a human being. <laughs> Walk with me here. <laughs> After you created gravity. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, it's not well thought out. It's not well thought out. That's my time. Thank you very much.